appears that the former actress known as Meghan Markle would now like to cut ties. But cut ties with what? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have you come here today. And as ever, I hope you're all keeping well. Yes, we're getting through this week, finally. Wow, what a week it's been. And so nice to see so many people um, celebrating the life of our late monarch. I can't believe the crowd, seriously. And my hat's off to you because it was really cold last night over here in London. Temperature dropped, we had rain, and I did feel so sorry for some of the people, you know, sat outside. You kind of think, that is devotion, truly is. But what a wonderful way to pay your respects to our late and brilliant monarch. If only others had learnt their lesson, if you know what I mean. This particular story is very strange in itself because, as we know, just last month, August the 29th, the former actress known as Meghan Markle decided that she wanted to reveal all yet again, find her voice, you know, the voice that's been silent for so long, in a magazine nobody would really ever heard of before, if you were outside New York, called The Cut. This was all to promote the Archetypes podcast, you know, let people know that she was back up and running and ready in the game once again. Uh, backing all that up, of course, was a chat show appearance, Looming, and many other opportunities like presenting an award at a variety uh, magazine event and all sorts of things like that. Strange when you think about it, you know, <laughs> because they must have known exactly just how difficult it was for our late monarch. You know, everybody truly inside the circle knew that this was a moment, shall we say, but they planned ahead once again but now it appears that Megan has had something of a shall we say light bulb moment there's not many of those I know if you follow it on a daily basis but when you think about it as I say this interview was very damaging once again to the monarchy because in it you know it was said that uh, Harry had lost his father very damaging very upsetting and more importantly really cruel towards um, his father the brand new King Charles III you know news to Charles he'd tried to reach out so where this came from, that was quickly, of course, backtracked by saying, no, no, it was misinterpreted, as everything is, of course, with Harry and Meghan. But now they have a bigger problem in the shape of a lady called Carnegie Mellon. She's just attacked, for the second time, our late monarch, this time in print previously, uh, I think on radio and on social media. Very negative comments, totally unacceptable at this particular time. Even if you feel that and you have those thoughts, you know, just remember where we're actually at. At. But Carnegie Mellon has ploughed ahead all about you know, the difficulties apparently that uh, the white colonial brigade have brought her life etc. Whether that's right or wrong you have to as I say look at it and think where does it fit in the scheme of things right now. Now according to a very good source and a very good source I'm talking about here Megan apparently now would like to see the association with the cut cut. Now this is the problem isn't it with celebrities you know they've no idea how things work. You can't can't just say we'll cut it it's already got out in print the world have seen it but what basically according to that good source Megan would like is no repetition of this no reference to it taking down off their website all of that sort of stuff it's all a little too late isn't it you know now I can understand why simply on a more serious note she doesn't want that association now and this particular outburst by Miss Mellon is nothing to do uh, with the Duchess of Sussex aka Meghan whichever you want to call her but of course by association the magazine then rakes up all the negativity again doesn't it against the former royal. But it's, <laughs> it really is stupidity when you think about it of the highest order because whatever you put down in print, as we know, then of course what you put down in print is there forever. It's a bit like social media. Somewhere, somehow, somebody's going to screenshot it and remind you of exactly just what you said. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.